Hey guys, what's up? I uh, Sack the Trend here from One Hive Gazette here with the next live on War Day video, and I wanted to catch some live action other than just the last 10 minutes. I'm not sure if I'll do that for this war, uh, but I want to catch some live Town Hall 9 action, maybe some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 action, a little bit of everything for you guys uh, just to keep it mixed up. Basically, we'll go through the war, and uh, next yeah, next minute or so, I'll just talk about how the war is going, and then I'll cut away to the next live attack, assuming it doesn't happen uh, while I'm still talking in this clip. Um, so let's take a look at the stats real quick. They've used six more attacks. They have two more three stars to show for it. Um, they've gotten top two or two and three two stars so far. Um, haven't done a whole lot. I think that is a Town Hall 9. So no Town Hall 10 triples for them yet, it looks like. Um, and then our Town Hall 9s, I think they have cleaned up besides that one. Um, so they're doing, you know, a solid job. It's going to be close. I think, you know, we're in a similar position. We have more Town Hall 9s left up to be, uh, to be three-starred. I think we have three Town Hall 9 attacks left, two or three, and, uh, we have multiple bases. So we're going to need to use a few dip attacks, uh, which is always unfortunate, you know, and none of the Town Hall 10s like doing, obviously, but it's just something that has to happen. And, uh... The good news is we have gotten a few dips uh, to go for triples, two of them from Baz. Uh, we'll probably take a look at those in a later video. And I uh, already got one of those top bases. Crucial attack, 50%, so barely got it. But nice job to Nubis up there. And uh, yeah, you can see have um, some Town Hall 10 work left to do. But, you know, I think we have a good shot at this war, especially with those two triples already in the bag. Uh, so I'll hang out. We should catch the last few Town Hall 9 attacks and then maybe get some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attacks. So stay right there. I'll go ahead and come back with the next live attack. All right, here we go. We got Boom Shakalaka going in live here. Uh, this is a Town Hall 10 trying to take out this Town Hall 11. You can see um, it's that level 2 eagle, I think. Uh, it's just the bomb towers and some of the walls that are kind of under upgraded, but for the most part, this is a very high level uh, Town Hall 11 base, so don't be fooled by uh, just a few things that are low level. Uh, this one is going to be a Queen Walk Dragon attack, so we'll see how he goes about doing this. Um, one concern I do have is that none of those air defenses are reachable, so I guess he's going to have to enter in with his queen, um, in which case she'll be taking a lot of damage, but he has the four rages. Um, I think he has maybe five healers on her, so we'll see how this goes, but um, I'm ne I'm always a little bit skeptical of dragon attacks. I like Valks better at Town Hall uh, 10 for attacking Town Hall 11s, but, um, you know, either one can work if done right. He's going to need to use the ability right here. Get that ability, get it the ability. Oh, no. Uh, you cannot just rage the queen through three Valks and a baby dragon. That's just the... Th you just can't do it, so... Uh, yeah, that's too bad, because I guess we won't get to see if this attack would have worked, given the Queen Walk went how it should have. Um, looks like he'll come in here with the, uh, the King, the Bowlers. Uh, the Bowlers are going to walk. This one's going south real quick. Um, yeah, he doesn't have much of a chance here at this point. So that's too bad. Uh, I was hoping you could see another one of these awesome attacks by Boom Shakalaka, because he typically is the guy that does the Town Hall, uh, the Town Hall 11s, him along with a few other 10s. Um, and it's a very important skill to have. And I think you guys actually saw one of his uh, wildest attacks when he took on this Town Hall 10, had his Valks like go um, like all around the base and get the Town Hall at the last moment for 50%. You saw one of his crazy attacks a few weeks back in one of these uh, types of live videos. But uh, this one's not going to be all that special. Um, might get 50%, probably won't. Uh, has about a, a wizard left, a few dragons. Um, yeah, too bad, because uh, he did, you know, some of these expos are on ground, which helps. I think had everything kind of, had the queen walk worked, I think that uh, the plan would have went a little bit better and would have had a good shot at getting it, because even with the queen dying almost immediately, still getting almost 50%, uh, he'll end with about 45%, it looks like. So, nice try. Actually, as a wizard, so we'll get a, li a little higher even. So, it uh, just goes to show that this... This plan probably could have worked. It had the firepower, just had to get that town hall and a few extra buildings, but the queen definitely would have helped with that. So we'll say, um, nice try, and uh, we'll go ahead and back out. Make sure no one else is going in live. Didn't miss anything. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and just hang out and uh, wait for that next live attack. All right. Here we go. Uh, Puka going in live here. 
Um, he's been having some nice attacks lately. I, I think I've been saying his name a lot on the channel. Uh, so let's see if he can get another three star here. Uh, has three golems, two of them already down. Doing a nice job creating the funnel. Looks like he'll get that entire uh, little compartment at uh, 9 o'clock cleared out. So nice little work with the wizard. Or maybe not. Yeah, that cannon might stay up. I might want to drop like a hog or something on that. Probably would be worth it, but um, I'm sure he's busy doing other stuff, deploying troops and stuff. A uh, number of wizards going down up top, but the funnel is at least created. Uh, here comes the king, that uh, next golem. So all his golems making their way in. Uh, so far, the heroes aren't being targeted, so that's all good. Bowler's making their way in, has the jump spell. Uh, the queen should step up and take out that cannon. Yeah, there's the hog. A um, few hogs, actually, just starting some hogs in. Uh, that's pretty good. I think that you know the defenses are being tanked, so might as well. Uh, get some free trades there. Uh, needs to pop that king's ability somewhat soon. I'm a little bit concerned because that queen is so deep in the base over there. Uh, but the king is up. Some of the barbarians just went down to a giant bomb. CC troops coming out. Needs to get those poisons down. Uh, the queen is sitting back though with her ability. I think all the golems are dead. So it's really going to be a matter of can his queen and some of those bowlers fight their way up to the defensive queen and get her taken out. I think he has enough hogs to get the job done. If so... Um, has one heal spell left, Hog's making their way through, the queen is still up, it's going to be kind of a weird timing here, but his, his queen should step up if she can get off that wall sometime soon, there she goes, uh, she's on the defensive queen, uh, pops the ability, I'm not sure if I would have done that, I was thinking about that, um, it did get the queen dead a little quicker, but at the same time he no longer has that, uh, now it's queen versus king with a hog on the cannon, uh, hog is, queen's down, oh man, that, yeah, I think the ability, and it's hard to know because I was literally thinking that moment, is he going to hit the ability because it's a decision you have to make. Um, the queen wasn't being targeted, so he could have probably saved the ability um, at least for another few seconds, maybe, you know, taken out the entire defensive queen without the ability. Now, I think that, you know, a few hogs would have died quicker. But um, it wasn't like there was a bunch of hogs left up that his queen was going to protect. So, yeah, that's going to be a high percentage two-star. Um, he probably will get, you know, up to about 85% uh, before the king and the cannon take out those last few wizards. So, nice try. Um, that is going to mean we're going to need to use another dip attack. But hopefully our other two Town Hall 9s can get some three-stars and uh, really limit the amount of Town Hall 10s that have to come down uh, to finish off their Town Hall 9s. And that should free up some attacks to continue the effort to two-star those top Town Hall 11s and to uh, three-star some of the lower-level Town Hall 10s. Uh, so we'll see how this thing plays out. But yeah, that's going to do it. We'll go ahead and back out because after that CC goes down, should be it for the attack. Um, yeah, uh, maybe a skeleton trap or a skelly spell would have been better. Actually, that's a good idea because if you watch the attack, um, as soon as those CC troops came out, uh, you know, his troops started going down, and there just wasn't quite enough left up to take out that queen. Uh, I guess his queen was up, but that defensive king stayed up a little bit too long. Uh, he ended up taking out the defensive queen. A skelly spell probably would have been more effective than bringing two poisons. Uh, so something to think about for those long pushes to take out the heroes. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we have a defense going on. Um... I'm not going to show it just for the sake of uh, Thor's base, so uh, yeah, I, I can't quite show some of these defenses, but I uh, wish I could, to be honest. It's just that, you know, especially this early in the war, we don't know if they're going to show these bases, and if not, uh, we, we like to, you know, reuse or sometimes just adjust the bases, so we'll wait for the next one of our attacks to go in, and might be a Town Hall 9, maybe get a Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 even or some some other combination, but it uh, should be a good attack. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, we have Thor, and oh, this is going to be a dip attack. Um, we'll go ahead and watch it, I guess, because, uh, I mean, these aren't always automatic, and, you know, clans have to do them, so I guess I'll go ahead and show it uh, just for the sake. You can fast forward through about three minutes if you want. Um, if you have faith that Thor will get the three star, but I'll go ahead and show it in case people are curious because we never see these on the channel. So I guess might as well true to the, to the live attack, and I'll keep an eye out here to see if any other uh, attacks go live that would be more uh, beneficial for us to see. But anyway, uh, coming in with just a hobo attack, a few golems, the heroes, everything kind of moving through in one unit, two jump spells to access pretty much the whole base. That one rage wasn't necessarily needed because there was nothing for them to stay. There's no reason for them to stay in that area. So by the time the 
it's like their rage is down they're already out of it almost so not the best there uh things are getting a little bit dicey by the queen and yeah this is the base that was actually just attacked it looked like so i think thor um you know, this plan was done very quickly, so we'll see how it goes. I think, you know, those golems are going to do some work in there because those max golems can do a number on certain defenses, especially when they, you know, split in half. So all those golemites going after those Teslas, they should do a little bit of damage. Uh, the queen is down, which is the most important thing. His queen is up, and she's in that little corner of the heel, so he won't have to use her ability. One more heal left. Those max hogs should get the job done. I don't think there's any giant bombs in that area besides just the... Uh, whatever that's called, the bomb tower, um, when it explodes. So I think he should have this one in the bag. A little bit closer than we like to see, but um, what are they going to split right here? Okay, this one might actually be a little closer because, uh, you know, any other explosion is going to put those hogs in jeopardy. I don't think there's a giant bomb or anything right there. No, there's not. Those king is That king is going to be one-shotting those hogs. So can they get him down? This one... I don't know, guys. Uh, he has the queen, but nothing else left up. The king roasted all of his hogs. That would be really disappointing, but this has happened. Multiple wars. Both sides. Um, I don't think they've failed. I don't think either of us have failed yet. But maybe, I don't know. I haven't been watching the war for that long. I woke up not that long ago. But uh, this one, I don't know. It's, it's going to be close. He does have a lot of archers and wizards, so things are going down quickly. Uh, nothing else in the corners. Don't want to call this one yet, but I think it's going to be very difficult in just, you know, 45 seconds to get through the rest of this base with all his troops kind of so condensed in one area. But like I said, we've seen failed dip attacks on uh, on pretty much every side, every war, uh, with exceptions, obviously, but we have not been that uh, that clean on our dip attacks. Uh, this one's going to be really close, though. He might actually have this one, I think. Um, there is that DE storage, which should put up a pretty good fight, but I think, no, he's going to have this way too close. If you guys did, like, fast forward through it, I guess you, that was weird. Um, okay, not exactly sure what happened there. Did he end it, or? Um, okay, well, let's take a look at that replay. Um... Was it the full three minutes? I guess the timing was off for some reason. It looked like people in the chat had the same thing going on. I don't know why that happened. That's weird. Because uh, if we look at the entire attack in its entirety, it takes up three minutes. I'm not sure what happened. Um, yeah, everyone had the same issue with the clock. That was weird. I, it might have just been something that the spectators experienced. I hope Thor didn't get slighted at all. And it looks like he didn't because it looked like it was a full three minutes. Um, yeah, right here there's a minute left. Yeah, it looks like... Well, okay, we'll watch the entire thing. Uh, but I guess, yeah, time's running down. Uh, takes out the king. And uh, right here is where it pretty much ended. Yeah, okay, I guess that was three minutes. The clock was off for everyone. Um, so that really sucks. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. You guys can let me know in the comments if you know something that I don't. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's really too bad. Another, you know, dip attack we're going to have to use because these Town Hall 9 stars are must-haves uh, for these wars. So uh, I guess it happens. You know, they've had fails. We've had fails. Um, but we're still in a very good position to win this war, I think. And uh, I will come back when we get some better t uh, action, uh, maybe some... Uh, you know, more even leveled attacks. So be right back. Okay, sorry for the delay. Like as soon as I backed out, uh, another guy went in live. This is uh, Sakara. Hold on one sec. Let me just close out of something. Okay, uh, I think we're good here. Yeah, we're good for the recording part of this. Um, yeah, this is, the I think, the last Town Hall 9 attack. We might have one more after this. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but either way, this is a very important... Every attack's important, but this one's important to uh, to really free up our top guys because we need to get these Town Hall 9s taken care of. Still have a number of them left up. Uh, so th every attack is becoming increasingly important. 
um, especially after a few fails and some Town Hall 9s. So yeah, Sakaro uh, doing a Queen Walk here. This base has these air defenses in the corners, uh, which can be effective against air attacks. So I think it's it's smart that he's not being fooled right away to go to an air attack because uh, it doesn't always work out too well. Dragons can work okay for these bases, but still, um, it can be difficult. And I think this looks like a solid plan thus far. I uh, did a very nice queen walk, meeting up with some golems, some bowlers. The funnel looks pretty much perfect. Uh, CC troops coming out, uh, at, not all at once, which is even better. Uh, it's good when they're kind of spread out so that they kind of engage the troops one at a time and they can be taken out easier. There's that rage, pretty good placement. And unlike that last attack, they should be in that rage for at least a period of time. The healers also get the benefit of the rage, so a much better value rage right there. And uh, had Thor used a heal instead of, of a rage on that last attack uh, for those hogs that were all wounded at the end, probably would have been a three star. But that's just you know splitting hairs. I you, it's, hindsight's twenty twenty, I guess is what I'm saying. Anyway though, this attack attack looks awesome. Hogs are coming through. They should avoid that uh, compartment up there. Actually, they are a few are going up. They'll hit that giant bomb, but the archer tower's on the queen, so it'll go down. I just don't see any defenses left up on this base, and I'm kind of amazed that really look at all these troops he has left up a heal uh the queen the king i don't even know what happened with this base really but everything just disappeared the defenses that is uh, both golems unbroken pretty much all his bowlers i'd say the majority of his hogs a heal spell both his heroes i think he swagged the queen's ability and uh, that last heal going down i guess he can have his king for friendly challenge now if he wants uh because of that heal so awesome stuff by sakaro crushed that base um there we go awesome attack um go ahead and back out make sure nothing else is happening i want to catch a few because i feel like recently we've seen almost exclusively town hall 9 attacks on the channel with exceptions, but the last few videos have been Town Hall 9 oriented, so I want to show some heavy hitter attacks beyond just uh, some two star attempts and some dips. So I will wait around and hopefully catch a few of those for you guys. Um, I'm just, you know, sitting around doing other stuff, so it doesn't really, you know, take any time away from me. I just kind of can transition when an attack goes live. So we will sit around, it might take a little while, but we should get some heavy hitter action as well for you guys. Uh, Going to be a nice long video, so hope you guys like that. Stay right there for the next attack. Okay, here we go. It looks like this is going to be a dip attack. Um, these are pretty common uh, occurrences. We see, you know, some Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 action, but not the most, uh, or not as much as we used to, I guess I should say. Um, Looks like a pretty common, uh, what is it, a bow laloon, a uh, go bow laloon, I think is what it's called, which is a very, very common, probably the most common Town Hall 11 dip strategy, which is coming in here for the queen, few air defenses, possibly an inferno tower, we'll see how that one uh, turns out, the king went down early, I'm not sure if he missed the ability, I don't think he did. The king just went down due to the damage. Uh, he popped the warden's ability. He didn't get a ton of value for that. I'm not sure if he dropped a jump or not. I guess he didn't really need one, but he's not going to get as deep into the base. Looks like the warden and the queen are going to go on a walk here. So this one could be tricky. Um, he'll get the town hall, so this should be a two-star at least. I'm not sure. I forget how many stars this base had originally. But I don't think it's going to be too easy to go ahead and get the... Uh, the rest of the base taken care of with both infernos, three air defenses, and a lot of defenses around them. Uh, but he's sending in, you know, his his stuff. We'll see how this goes. Goes ahead and uses that freeze on the first inferno, which I think is a good idea. Get it taken out. Um, balloons keep moving forward. The sweeper is being kind of a nuisance for some of those balloons, and uh, that one wizard tower is still up doing a little bit of damage. The balloons are getting a little bit clumpy, which is not good to see. But that rage should keep them moving. Uh, assuming they can make it to that rage. The Teslas are doing a number on some of those balloons, but they are level 7. They have some more hit points than the usual level 6 balloons. He'll get in there and he'll get that next air defense taken out, but there is still an Inferno, a Sweeper, another air defense expo. There's just a lot of defenses left up. This one does not look like it's going to be a 3-star. He should get pretty high percentage 2-star because of the Queen and all those uh, Lava Pups and Minions and stuff that's left up, but he's not going to get anything beyond that. So nice try to Pendragon. Uh, sometimes just the uh, 
the opening part of the attack, that kill squad, if it doesn't get the uh, the essentials taken out, it's going to be very difficult. And uh, we saw that there. So not sure what he could have done differently. The golem just died really quickly. And it seemed like the warden's ability was too late for the king or anything like that. Maybe could have used that a little bit earlier. So 81%. Let's back out. It's been a while. Let's take a look at how the war's going. Uh, you can see it's tied 76-76. We have four attacks, they have three. Now their attacks are uh, the two, or the three Town Hall 11 attacks left up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, because they have three attacks. For us, we have two 11s and two 10s. Um, taking a look at what they have left, they have two fresh bases to hit. So that's probably going to produce some stars for them. Uh, we have one fresh base. We have some one stars to probably try to add to. We have no stars here. We can probably add two stars up there. So this one should be close. I'm not sure if I'll cover the end of it because I might be busy um, somewhat soon. But hopefully I can stick around long enough to catch a probably a Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 is what I'd like to see. Um, but, you know, those are rare nowadays, honestly. That's kind of what I've been looking for. But a lot of times the Town Hall 10s are going up for the 11s. The 11s are coming down for the 10s. And there's not as much just straight across action. But that being said, we'll just kind of wait around and uh, see what's left. Be right back with hopefully one more attack. All right, here we go. This is finally the Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 a three star attempt. I've been waiting to show you guys, or I shouldn't say waiting, I've been hoping I'd be able to show it to you guys and uh, finally have the opportunity to do so. Really been waiting around for this one. Actually, isn't that long since the last attack, but uh, you know, it's, it's rare that we see these attacks and they're so fun for me to watch as a Town Hall 10, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well, especially that live component where you don't know what's going to happen. But enough said, this one is a stoned, uh, not stoned, two golems, uh, has the bowlers, the queen, uh, is the king down? I'm not sure where the king is. Is he in that? Yeah, he's in that mix too. Uh, so just sending in that big heavy kill squad, trying to get in there, take out some air defenses, take out um, some inferno towers. I guess maybe to get that one inferno tower towards the top, I'm not sure. The defensive queen is still up, has to pop his own queen's ability. Skelly trap coming out. I'm not sure he's going to get what he wanted. The king and the golem look like they're unlikely to come back. Uh, but who knows, they might take that jump. We'll see. Yep, there goes the king. He'll take the jump. So hopefully, is he going to lock onto that queen is the question. Uh, I don't think he's going to get her either. No. Um, I don't like the looks of this so far. All he got was pretty much one air defense and some defenses. The CC troops didn't get the queen. Didn't get... Um, uh, well, maybe he got two air defenses. Yeah, he might have got two air defenses, but didn't get the queen. Didn't get um, either of the inferno towers. And that is something that's uh, going to make it very difficult here. He has a heal spell, actually, so we'll see how he uses that. Uh, the Lava Hound's making their way through. There's the freeze. There's the heal. That should keep the balloons up. They're actually going to leave that heal pretty quickly, but that gets them back up to about full health because they're going to have to deal with the queen. Uh, they're going to have to deal with you know more defenses, the usual wizard towers, that kind of stuff. If they can get a drop on the queen, maybe. Come on, drop a bomb on her. Yeah, they got like two drops on her. She's almost dead, but not quite. But either way, it's not going to matter. He doesn't have enough balloons to take out the rest of the base. So another fail. I'm not sure the exact. I forget how many we've had fail, but I think we've had... I think we've had quite a few fails today. And I mean, I'm pretty sure we did have a three-star uh, or a successful attack. I think we did. It's It's been a long uh, day of recording, so I kind of forget how some of the first attacks went. But I'll go back and probably watch them again. I think we had at least one three-star for you guys. Um, but that's, that's kind of how it works, guys. Fails are very common. I mean, we had to use dip attacks. But I think, you know, we might be able to pull this thing off. Uh, this is going to end a two-star. This base probably won't be attacked again. But um, they're not doing a whole lot better on our bases. Uh, coming down to the last three attacks, once again, they have their two Town Hall, or their three Town Hall 11 attacks. We have two 11s and a 10. Uh, the stars they can get are, let's say, best case scenario for them, they get six stars, uh, two triples there. Then I guess they get one more star here. So they get seven more stars. Uh, we could get two there, um, three there, which is five. And then three here, which would make it seven as well. It would come down to percentage. So as you guys can see, it's very close. Now, those are probably the best case scenarios. So it could be more like an extra four or five stars if we see more fails. 
I'm not going to record the end of this video, but I'll go ahead and talk about it towards the end. And if any good attacks happen in the last hour, you guys will see them in a different video, possibly a war recap. I'm also thinking about doing an attack meta video. I've done one attack meta uh, about a month, two months ago, and I want to do another one because the game has changed quite a bit since then. Uh, so if I can get the attacks together, I will go ahead and uh, look to do that video as well. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Probably is going to be a long one once I'm done, done editing it. But it should have, uh, hopefully you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.